ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ഓൾ ടു ദിസ് ന്യൂ അക്കാഡമിക് ഇയർ വിച്ച് വിൽ ബി സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് ഇൻ ദ ഓൺലൈൻ മോഡ് സോ ഐ വിൽ ബി ടേക്കിംഗ് ജിയോ ടെക്നിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ടു ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് സെമസ്റ്റർ വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ജിയോ ടെക്നിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ടു മൊഡ്യൂൾസ് വെ ടേക്കൺ ഇൻ ദ ഓൺലൈൻ മോഡ് സോ ദിസ് ടൈം വിൽ ബി സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ഫ്രം മൊഡ്യൂൾ വൺ ഇൻ ദ ഓൺലൈൻ മോഡ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ജിയോ ടെക്നിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് വൺ വി ആർ സ്റ്റഡീഡ് സം ബേസിക് തിങ്സ് അബൌട്ട് ദ സോയിൽ ലൈക്ക് ദ സോയിൽ ഫോർമേഷൻ ദ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ദ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്സ് സോയിൽ ക്ലാസിഫിക്കേഷൻ പെർമിയബിലിറ്റി സ്ട്രെസ്സസ് കമ്മിങ് ഓൺ ദ സോയിൽ Uh, the shear strength characteristics the lab test then compaction consolidation the stability of slopes all these things are uh, comprised in the gt1 portion and it is very much important for the competitive exams like gate etc now coming to uh, gt2 here we have a new set of uh, theory portions uh, the paper will be 50% theory and 50% numerical as uh, in the case of gt1 i think it is more simpler than gt1 but it deals with the entirely different set of things that we have been studied in the gt1 so let's uh, start with the syllabus itself now uh the module 1 comprises of the following terms uh, stresses in soil there is a term like the bosnik's formula it is used to calculation of uh, vertical stress uh, below point loads and uh, some numerical problems then some other terms and equations under different uh, loaded areas like uh, a strip rectangular circular shapes then we have the new mark chart and etc few more numericals so we will start now uh, we had studied a few things of uh, stresses under the gt1 portion i hope you remember uh, namely the total neutral effective stress it's a different set of uh, theory and we know the equations we have drawn the figures and diagrams and all things now coming to uh, this portion we are having a particular loaded loaded area and uh, the stress due to some loads especially point loads so you know what is a point load it is uh, directly concentrated at one point so that sort of loads when coming what will be the soil response to these loads so the equations was uh, given by bosnesk so before going to the equation he gave some assumptions which i will be stating here it is uh, that the soil is an elastic medium the constant value of young's modulus young's modulus we have you know we know with the, there's a symbol given by e capital e then the soil is homogeneous meaning it has identical properties uh, at different points soil and soil is isotropic which means the soil has identical properties in all directions then the soil is semi infinite meaning Uh, when we see the soil we can know, we know that uh, soil extends from a single point towards downside and to the lateral side but not above that we have the ground level so it is semi infinite not infinite but semi infinite it is limited to a particular region and it extends downwards and the lateral sides not up, upside from the ground level so that's it 
soil is semi infinite and last one soil is weightless and free from stress before application flow so these are some of the assumptions uh, taken by bosinesk to come to his equation so bosinesk bosinesk equation was derived after assuming a set of these assumptions so uh, people uh, or university usually ask uh, list out the assumptions and is usually asked as a five mark question so uh, just uh, be familiar with these and we will go to the equation as you can see from this uh, figure i have given a point load uh, named as uh, capital q it is acting at point o capital o then uh, we can see that uh, the figure consists of some additional terms like uh, capital z capital p then we can see a small z and small r these are the uh, alphabets which i have given in this figure so what i am interested is to find the vertical stress at point z and at point p i will tell it once more i am interested in finding the vertical stress at point z and point p capital z and capital p now z if you see it lies directly beneath the point o at a distance z the q comes directly to the o and from that point at a depth small z lies our capital z don't confuse between capital z, capital and small z our capital z lies at a depth of z from the ground level which is in the line of action same line of action whereas the point p lies at a distance small r from the capital z we have taken just understand the difference between two points z lies in the line of action of uh, capital q whereas p lies at a distance r from the line of action just note those points so the equation is same but while substituting we will have different values so we will go to actually to equation this is the equation for vertical stress uh, under a point load given by the bosinesk sigma is said and hope you remember the points p and z so the equation i will tell 3 by 2 pi into q by z square the whole bracket 1 by 1 plus r by z the whole square the whole raised to 5 by 2 the equation will seem a bit confused in the start but this is the equation given by bosinesk 3 by 2 pi q by z square 1 by 1 plus r by z the whole square the whole raised to pi by 2 in these terms uh, we know uh, the q it is the point load coming z and r we have defined in the previous figure so check the previous figure and then we will find uh, when we will know what is r and z now this is the equation given for a any value or vertical stress value at a point p and now if we go to the vertical stress value at point z capital z we can see that the same equation is applicable there also but in this case we don't have a value for r the r value is zero so we give the r value as zero in that case and then the equation becomes 3 by 2 pi into q by z square that bracket terms becomes zero so this is the difference between the two points taken we have the same equation but the values of r and z is important while considering these points so it is very mandatory people usually ask two types of uh, questions here one is the value of r being x some value 1 2 3 or 4 meters the other case the r is zero 
which is the case of we are discussing here the point is at where the line of action directly comes on that point point out so this is the two cases of Bose's equation